A 49-year-old father of seven is serving more than 13 years in prison for possessing the equivalent of two joints of cannabis. In 2010, Bernard Noble was incarcerated after being caught with a small quantity of weed in Louisiana, even though the state's governor, Bobby Jindal, recently signed a bill significantly decreasing criminal penalties for cannabis possession in the state. Noble and others who were already behind bars don't benefit from the change. To make matters worse for Noble, in May, the State Board of Pardons and Parole rejected his petition for clemency because he's yet to serve 10 years in prison. Noble was given the maximum possible sentence of 13 years and three months without parole because he was considered a habitual offender under Louisiana law. He has seven prior convictions, but they're all for nonviolent minor drug possession, mostly cannabis and two for cocaine. With sex offenders and murderers often receiving less prison time than Noble, he's understandably dismayed by his situation. He told the Huffington Post that his unjust punishment for minor drug possession should shock the conscience and fairness of the system. It should indeed, but does it? While US politicians continue to decry the state of criminal justice in the country, very little has been done to actually fix it. A handful of pardons for nonviolent criminals and requiring police in many jurisdictions to wear body cameras are decent first steps, but nowhere near the change required to rein in the US's out of control prison population and the high number of African Americans being killed by police. Ending the drug war, particularly cannabis prohibition, would significantly improve this disastrous situation. According to the ACLU, an astonishing 8.2 million people were arrested for cannabis from 2001 to 2010, which is more than half of all drug arrests. And despite equal usage rates, Black Americans are about four times more likely than whites to be arrested for cannabis. Like so many others, Noble has become a victim of the US's harsh, contradictory, and racist criminal justice system. If only Noble lived in a more progressive state, he could be taking care of his seven kids instead of wasting away behind bars.